my neck. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Bougie Blazian and we are here today with a wig review, wig unboxing, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is for the model model five inch part wig called Electra in FF Russet, and this is her. I got mine from Diva Trust and she was only twenty dollars when I got her, and I had to um upcharge for this color, which was four dollars. So she was twenty four dollars. And then they had 10% off this weekend, so, or more like more last weekend. And so it was only like $22. So, or something like that. I don't have my paper with me, but it was something like that. I'll put up the actual cost on the screen. But yeah, this is her. And as you can see, it's kind of blonde in the front. Kind of like a honey blonde in the front. And then it's uh, brown back here. And then it's kind of dark rooted, but it's like a, a two at the top. And this wig comes with no lace. Um, it's just a lace parting wig, so you didn't have to cut anything. It's just the laces right here. Um, they advertise it as a middle part, but uh, my braids, or more like my twists underneath, are not prepared for a middle part. <laughs> so I had to switch it to the side, which it actually does look nice. Which I'm kind of surprised because most of the time when you get like middle part wigs, they don't look especially nice as a side part. Not all of them do. Some of them, but most of the time, a uh, middle part doesn't look good. Like the part doesn't go the right way, but it's kind of nice from what I can see in this mirror. <laughs> it looks nice. And yeah, I have it in the color FF Russet. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be more like orange, but I guess that's more of the FF Amber one because that's the one I was looking at also. Um, but I thought this one would be more orange, but it's kind of more honey blonde. If you guys can see like the blonde right here in the front and right here. And it's not like a 613 or anything. It's like a, a 30 or a 27. Even with my hair being lumpy underneath, look how flat this wig lays. Like, I didn't do anything to it. I didn't pluck the hairline. All I did was put in, what is it? This eyeshadow creme brulee from Wet n Wild into my part. And that's about all I did. I didn't straighten this wig. I didn't pluck the part. Um, this is just, yeah, I didn't flatten the top or tie it down even. This is just me putting it right on my head and just smoothing out the front part of my hair and that's it um this wig is pretty much out of the box like ready like as soon as you take it out of the box it's ready you don't have to do any cutting any plucking really because all you have to really do is put that concealer or foundation whatever you use into your part and it's fine it looks really good from right here. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell you, but I'm pretty sure it looks really good. Took it out of the package, and I ran my fingers through it a couple of times, and my brush, and I got no strands coming out. I just pulled one not too long ago when I was talking, but that's about it. It's like no shedding. It's really good. No shedding at all. So if you're worried about that, it's no shedding. I don't know if I would call this wig big head friendly because um, it's snug and I definitely have a big head and a lot of hair underneath this wig. Um, and I could pull it into right here comfortably, but if you're not a person who keeps your edges out, this might be a problem. But if you're a person who has a big head and you wear your edges out, it's fine. It's not giving me a headache or anything because I've had it on for like a couple hours now and I'm fine. I went and told somebody who has like a really big head and likes to wear their wigs past the hairline um, to get this wig at all. But if you wear it with your edges out, you can make it work. And the density of this wig is really good. It's thick, but it's not, it's not hot. It's not heavy. But you can tell it has a good density on it because this is just half of the hair or more like a third. So... That's really good, but I'm going to show you guys the length it is on me, and yeah, I'm five one so you... Um, you can't really see it, but it's more like to my tailbone, a little bit past my tailbone, 
So, yeah. If you're five one and a short person like me, this will be really long on you. But if you're tall or even average your height, this should be a good length for you. Even if you're like past six feet, this should really be long on you still. So I don't really have any cons for this wig. The only problem is I wish it was just a smidge bit bigger for people who don't like to have their edges out. And yeah, that's really the only con I have. It doesn't share. It's still not shared anymore. I've been running my fingers through it for like the last three hours <laughs> that I've been home. And I've been shaking it and moving it. And that's another thing. This wig has a lot of body to it. And it moves so nicely. It's not like stiff. And you guys, this wig, was you wouldn't expect that much movement and just good quality like bouncing it from a, a wig that was barely twenty dollars so yeah but i don't have really much any cons i love the color i really love the color um i like the way it fits it's not giving me a headache it's fine i can keep my edges out and be good um it's flat at least really flat if you guys want to like experiment with a really pretty color try this wig it's really nice it's affordable um i think it's worth the money and yeah give it a try i will leave the link to where i got mine from down below and if you want to see how i unboxed it and <laughs> how i did customize it on my head for a little bit that i did do um stay tuned but i'll see you guys in my next one bye